Welcome back. This tree wants to know the name of its creator, which we don't have. So we're kind of stuck here for now. There's something else we can do though. Uh, we saw a grave earlier with a difficult to read. Isn't there an old trick about rubbing soot on worn carvings to make them legible? Yeah, with a tombstone that was difficult to read. We didn't have any soot at the time, and I mean, we kind of still don't. But we do have ashes, which can serve the same purpose. Brass urn filled with ashes. Too far away. Oh, come on. The ashes show faint scratches. A name, Paul Stark. Paul Stark. Okay. Friend of Tony? Relative of Tony, even. Probably not. wonder if that's the name that the tree wants. Kind of has to be, considering there's nothing else we can do. In the name of your creator, Paul Stark, I command you to move aside. Paul Stark, the creator. He who planted my seed and gave me life. In his name, I do as commanded. Okay, <laughs> he actually literally just walks aside. That is, uh, bizarre. The tree, it moves! Yeah, that's definitely the weirdest thing about all of this. Strange and wonderful prism. It seems to focus the light that passes through it. Strange and wonderful prism. Okay, we got a weird prism that focuses light that passes through it. Now this is perhaps a little bit obscure, as in it took me a little bit to figure out that that's what you were supposed to do. But yeah, you're supposed to hold the prism in this particular beam of light. I guess the fact that your cursor changes on it, that you can look at it, is a bit of a hint there. There's a nice warm beam of light coming through. Yes, the light! It's opening the door! And it looks like it reflected off whatever this uh, topless statue is holding. And into this weird building and opened that door. Well, Max, I don't know how you found me, but you're too late. I'm leaving now. Leaving you here with the rest of the dead people. Damn you, Morgan! Um... What? Okay. Did he create some kind of teleporter? That seems a bit weird. I like how the inside of this weird ancient temple thing is just an office. A globe. Pencil marks on Central America. Hmm. Central America? A phone. Oh, just my luck. It's dead. Of course, it's not going to be that easy. Statue of an Aztec warrior. It looks almost lifelike. Aztec? So that's what this building is. Yeah, this is some kind of Aztec temple, I guess, and it's not the first time the Aztec have been mentioned in this game. We've, um... had the Aztec key in the very first chapter. And, um... Max also talked about um, the Aztec related to his research, about how back then they survived something called the Plague of Quetzalcoatl. Not sure if that's the same thing as DNA V or what way it's related, but, you know. It was mentioned, so interesting that it came back here now. And very weird that there's just an Aztec temple outside this asylum. 
Because we're definitely not in South America, aren't we? So... I don't know what's going on here. I think whoever designed this, uh... This sanitarium was drunk. The secret to activating the device appears to be the use of five distinct symbols. The secret to activating the device appears to be the use of five distinct symbols. Yes, five distinct symbols, and you can't really get a better look at them than that. Which is annoying. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Huh, looks like an Aztec calendar. But something's wrong. There's a device hooked up to it. Right. This isn't a normal Aztec calendar. Some of the parts move. I guess it's a good thing that um, he's an expert on Aztec calendars. So yeah, we can um, switch out halves of symbols. And we can see that the left and right part are connected. This one is standalone. So you can um, not just select symbols, you have to kind of make them from uh, two halves, which can be somewhat annoying. Hmm. And yeah, the key to what symbols you need is here. It is kind of uh, hard to make out, but um, top left here is supposed to be the mountains, then this is the big sun, um, this is I think the small sun, and this is supposed to resemble the eye symbol and then the pyramid symbol. You can kind of make it out, especially if you compare them to the symbols that are on there. Would be a lot easier if you could just look at it closer. This but isn't a normal as. But you can't. All right, so I guess I already did mountains kind of by accident, so that would be the first one. And then yeah, this part mountain piece has the big sun on it, so let's now complete that one. If you just do it from left to right, it's really not that hard. Yeah, and there's a the small sun, so let's try and finish that one. Then the eye. Um, that's not it, because we don't need another big sun here. Um, that one's blank. There we go. What the? And so we enter chapter 8, The Lost Village. Uh... And we appear to have transported into some kind of Aztec place, I guess? And we've turned into an Aztec warrior, which I guess is even stranger. That is this where Dr. Morgan went? I am very confused. Well, same as uh, everything else. I guess it's no weirder than turning into a comic book figure fighting insects. These people have called me. I heard their voices. And as before, we're just completely in character. No sign of Max's personality. They have called me, apparently. These people have... I wonder how they did that. Here is the woman whose magic summoned me. Um, I guess we need to go down below to talk to her. Old woman, what is your station? By the great spirits, 
You have arrived. I thought your arrival to be merely a vision, but here you stand. Olmec, the holy warrior. Praise the gods. Still your tongue, old crone. I asked your station. What is it? Forgive me. My name is Titio. I am the village oracle. Okay, I guess our name is Olmec. Why have you come to greet me, old one? Where is the village chieftain? He is repairing the village, great one. Forgive us, for we are few in number. What of this village? Why was I summoned? It is Quetzalcoatl, holy one. He has returned. What nonsense is this? He sits on his majestic throne in the heavens, not in this pathetic dung heap of a village. No, oh, no, no, sacred one. He truly has returned, just as prophesied on the wall of sorrow. Quetzalcoatl? Too bad Kirk isn't here to deal with him. Although according to that interpretation, he was actually nice, but somehow I doubt that they would have called us if Quetzalcoatl was just here to spread a message of peace. If you speak the truth, then I must see him. Where is he? He stands atop the angry mountain, your grandness. He is using his magic to bring forth the blood of the land to kill us all. Yeah, definitely not nice. Well, we know how this has been working so far. I suppose we're going to have to help them. And then try to figure out how this relates to uh, everything that's been going on. The Jaguar Temple still stands? Yes. It withstood both the flood and the rock slides. He intends to melt the very stones of the temple itself with the blood of the angry mountain, destroying what's left of the village. Your tale told of the shaven head Otanmi warriors. Where are they? Quetzalcoatl slaughtered them as if they were children. And now their shades roam the land, trapped here by his wicked magic. Shades, eh? Can they not fight still in these new forms? Nay, fearless one, they are but lost souls trapped between life and death. Their inability to battle their foe has driven them mad. They rant only crazed things in the voices of ghosts. In other words, things are not going well. Okay. The Wall of Sorrow. Images which tell the story of this village. I can't really see them well enough to make out what they might mean. The Wall of I don't think we can talk about it either. The path is blocked. No, it is not. Surely they I guess we'll have to leave this temple or whatever it is and see if we can find Quetzalcoatl. I wonder if what's happening here is related to that plague or something? I don't know. I guess that's where he came from. These are the sacred fires. Okay. And they are different from normal fires. How? That one's fallen over. Hopefully it wasn't important. Wait, what? There was a thing here and it disappeared. And it's back. Maybe one of those shades that we were told about. His soul still dwells here. This water is impure. A waterfall demonstrating the raw power of nature's gods. Sure. Spirit, what say you? Shame. Eternal shame. Died in vain. 
Okay, I guess this is one of the warriors that was killed by Quetzalcoatl. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? I said Error of war. Son of Village. Witch. And yeah, you probably want to take notes of all these names and how they relate to each other. Because you're going to need it later. You can always come back and talk to them again, of course. But still. You are the son of Tetsukatl? Yes. Wise. Elder. What was your station as warrior spirit? Veteran of many battles. Younger brother of Mixcatl. Why do you hang your head in shame, brave one? Could not defeat. One warrior, all our clan, failed to stop just one man. Okay. I think, uh... Olmec is about the same speed as Max. It's over here. Clearly, this is the Temple of Water. As evidenced by the fact that it's in the water, I guess? This water is impure. Also means we can't really get there. I don't know if we'd sink with this get up or what. Oh, another ghost. And a statue. They have honored Quetzalcoatl with this statue. And he repays them with destruction. Okay. Maybe take the statue down then? He too has been slain by the evil god. Spirit, what say you? Failed. All. Could not defeat one. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Uh, that's the guy we just saw, right? You were the war chief? Yes. Victorious in many battles. What was your station as warrior, spirit? War chief. Eldest warrior. And leader of clan. Do you judge yourself a failure? How can that be when you have died in honor on the battlefield? Honor not! Failed village! Defeated by only one man! Alright, so he was the leader, and he's elder brother of the guy we saw before. Again, we need to make note of that. Um, that appears to be lava. Scalding lake of lava. We cannot walk in lava. Just wanted to try it. A tree growing in the lava. That seems unlikely. Big head. He's very straightforward. Many have been sacrificed on this spot. Some for good, some for evil. Oh yes, of course, those well-known good sacrifices. Innocence crushed in the fist of the evil god. Ew. Big head. What is over here? Ah, Quetzalcoatl has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors.
I think this is the man himself. Um, he sure likes his human decorations. Ah, Quetzalcoatl has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors. And there's like a lot of flies here. These flies are all over the village. They feast on the misery of others. A statue. Yep, that's what it is. A statue. Indeed. There is the evil god himself. What's a quaddle? Why have you returned to this place? Olmec, I, I should have known you'd come. You, you follow your god's commands like the dog that you are. Go, go back down to your followers and wait for your death as they do. You, you are powerless against me here. You dare speak to me in such a tone? I have enough power to handle the likes of you. Ha! <laughs> Empty threats from a cowardly warrior. Um, is it me or does Quetzalcoatl look like Dr. Morgan? He seems to uh, keep coming back lately. Assuming that Gromna was also supposed to be him. Not so much in the circus one and the original village, though. I guess the circus was more about Sarah and Max. And the village? Who knows? Why do you seek to destroy those that worshipped you? You were their greatest king! Ah, they are loyal to none but themselves. Soon after my death, they stop offering sacrifice, and now they will pay with their lives. I think I prefer the version from Star Trek. Why have you left your heavenly throne? For a god to return to this land is a disgrace. I am more than a god. I am a warrior. That, that idle throne is an empty chair that threatens to devour my eternal soul. I will conquer this world one village at a time until all are destroyed! And then what? When there is nothing left to conquer, what will you do? I grow with the power of the souls I consume. When this world has been stripped of all its souls, I will be the most powerful god of all! I will conquer the heavens! <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Alright, can we just, uh, stop him? No. You fool. You cannot touch me. In death I have gained much power. The souls of the shaven head upon me feed my magic. He is too powerful. I must find a way to destroy the evil one. Perhaps I may find some magical talismans nearby. Okay, so we need some talismans to be able to get close to him. There is something else we want to do up here, though. There's this statue over here. A large statue. Violent earth magic has made it unstable. I wonder, by the way, is this supposed to be the blood of the mountain? Quetzalcoatl's dark magic stirs the earth's blood. So it's just lava. Okay. Yeah. We can actually knock this statue over. Which causes this lava lake to overflow. And create a uh, bridge that can get us to the water temple over here. There's another ghost there, too. This water is impure. This ghost appearing and disappearing is very helpful. What does this noble warrior seek? Spirit, what say you? Litter. To meet. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Devil. This warrior. Clan. Shaven head. Ah, tongue me. 
All right, we've got another one, Sentiato. The shaven head Otonmi? Yes. Savage destroyers. What was your station as warrior spirit? In my prime. Older than Tivitak. Younger than Hutzelak. Okay, so we saw Hootsalop before. So, this guy is younger than him. We haven't seen Tepic talk yet. Carved stone. It seems to be a piece of something greater. Images carved in stone. Somehow these hold the key to the water temple. Hmm. By the gods. I guess you can depress these? Don't really know what to do with that yet. Clearly, this is the temple of water. Clearly. Clearly, this looks like some kind of pressure plate or something. But we can't go inside. I guess we need to do something with this side part, but we don't know what yet, so... Let's move on for now. Another ghost over here that I saw earlier. It's very helpful how they keep disappearing. Okay, come on. This one appears to have died very young. Spirit, what say you? One battle died, never to see honor on battlefield. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Xylonen, the youngest warrior of clan, unproven. Alright, so this is Xylonen, and he was the youngest. Was this but your first battle? And last. Never to fight again. What was your station as warrior, spirit? Youngest of clan. Fierce. I fought, but no avail. Dead. Same as all. Honor comes with courage, young spirit. Your courage at such a young age is honorable. Walk with head held high. Cannot dishonor or die in first battle. Curse me for eternity. Okay. They all kind of have the same story. What's interesting here is that um, in the first chapter, actually the first guy we we uh, talked to said he was hearing the voices of warriors and confused us for one of those warriors. So I wonder if that was supposed to be a subtle reference to this. There's quite a few references to future chapters in the first one. So, I don't think that's a impossible. I think you can actually go behind here, which is kind of hard to tell. And there's a guy sitting here, who at least is alive, I guess. Is this old one preparing for battle? Old man, what say you? I say that the end is near. Quetzalcoatl will destroy us all, lest I find one who can bring me the pod of might. What name do you go by, Ancient One? My name is Tezekatl. I am the village's last hope. It is my duty as village witch to destroy this devil who plagues us. 
What is this pod you speak of? The sacred pod of might. It contains the seeds I require to finish my spell. Yet, there is no way to reach it. Why is that? It clings to the joining tree, surrounded by liquid fire. Not even your stone form could withstand its heat. How does the tree survive if it is surrounded by fire? Good question. It is magic, as is the pod that grows on its mighty trunk. However, the magic is fading, and the limbs will soon wither and burn. There must be some way to reach it. Perhaps. The ancient rite of the warrior may be the answer. Rite of the warrior? What will that old magic accomplish? It is old indeed, wise one. Though not practiced for many generations, it is rumored to have the ability to make a warrior impervious to the elements. Then I will go through the trials. Perform it. Forgive me, sacred one. I cannot. I don't remember the complete ceremony. However, the stonemason knows it. He is the village chief now, and is over at the huts. Okay, I guess we'll have to talk to him then, if that magic can get us through the lava. Why do you sit here, idle in the village instead of fighting? What kind of coward are you? Harsh words, your holiness. But I am not merely sitting here. I am meditating to gain the power needed to combat his awful magic. I'm sure us talking to you is helping a lot then. How do you expect to defeat a god, little man? I don't. He is very strong. I cannot possibly hope to defeat him. However, if I anger him enough with my spell, he will spend precious energy on me. That should sufficiently weaken him enough for you to defeat him. You would sacrifice yourself for the village? It must be done. Sufficiently weaken him enough? Seems kind of redundant. What spell are you preparing? It is called the Spirit Fire. It creates a mystic energy wave formed by the souls of the dead. I see the temples are nearly destroyed by Quetzalcoatl's dark magic. Yes, the totems may be in grave danger. What totems are you speaking of? The statues sheltered within the temples. These statues represent the purity of the gods themselves. I believe Quetzalcoatl fears them, else why would he seek to destroy them? Hmm, maybe those totems are the talismans we seek. All right. I guess we have some stuff to do. We, are, I guess we need to find a way to get into all of these temples. And we should also seek out the stonemason, aka village chief. But we'll do all that in the next video.